closer inspection, there was no cause for alarm. It was just a bird mimicking the noise. Catherine de Costa has the story. Is it a bird? Or is it a police car? Sounds like a question for Special Branch. So I sat at my desk after a, a weekend off, and in the distance I could hear the very faint sound of what sounded like a police siren. And because we repair a lot of police cars here, I thought it was maybe one that was defective and the battery was starting to go flat. And I soon realised there was a bird tweet at the end of it. So when I came outside and looked up into the trees, I could see the bird up in the trees, clearly mimicking the sirens in a, a really professional way. It's thought the feathered impersonator has been sat observing the sirens while they've been tested at Thames Valley Police Workshops in Bicester. Certainly happens every day, uh, generally first thing in the morning and then towards the end, around five o'clock it starts up again. And then we don't know where it goes during the daytime, so it obviously goes somewhere else and maybe it's doing impressions in, in other areas of Bicester. It's not the first time birds have caused a nuisance. The owner of this parrot called 999, thinking the smoke alarm had been set off. While twitchers say it's not unusual for blackbirds and starlings to mimic all sorts of different noises, from ringtones to reversing vehicles. So who's the newest member of Oxfordshire's flying squad? So it's definitely male blackbird. The purpose of the bird song is to achieve two major things for that blackbird. It's trying to advertise its fitness as a mate to the females, and it's also trying to warn other males out of its territory. So it's effectively a combination of sitting at the top of the tree, shouting chat-up lines, and also chanting, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. Since being shared by the force online, the clip's been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. Just goes to show the long wait of the law. Catherine DaCosta, 